everyone, welcome back to another video. It's Michaela. Chris. And Chris. So in this video, we're actually gonna do a room tour over 3D print farmhouse. As you have got as you guys may know, Chris and I have moved to a new home and basically we have a whole new setup for our 3D prints. And it's pretty exciting because well, I'm excited because we're still able to run our 3D printing business and I thought we had to shut it down because we thought we didn't have any space for it because a condo, it doesn't really exactly fit everything that you want to fit. So yeah, we can start off with how our 3D printers look up, um, our, how it looks now. Okay, Chris, do you want to show them how it looks? Sure. Okay. Let's go on the side. Okay, follow you. Yeah, so here, um, if you guys watched the old video, um, we were in our downstairs kitchen. Um, we had like six printers, um, but now we um, downsized to three printers. Um, just because, uh, obviously, yeah, again, there's not that much space, plus, yeah. yeah <laughs> so you see over here. Um, we just don't have enough space yeah. in general. So here I have three, I kept the three Ender 3 printers. Um, so they are stacked on top. Um, with like IKEA lag tables, uh, so yeah. So this this idea um, was a big thing in like the three D printing forums, I guess, because people make their own enclosures and everything. So yeah, I kind of took this idea and tried to try to make it, it work. Yeah. So uh, basically, back at home, we actually started off with how many printers. So we slowly start off with one, but then we grew up to like to two, two and then bought, bought more two, until we had six. Yeah. Um, so. For sure, um, now that we're in this new location, I, I did downscale, like I did stop some orders, like I slowed down on a bunch of different products just because I just don't have the, the capacity to do it. Um, so maybe in the future, um, obviously, hopefully I keep expanding and then, you know, hi, I don't know get, get some people to help me or get more printers, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, but so technically this is how our print setup looks like right now. And this is really great for anyone who has a small space. Mind you, probably our whole condo itself is around like 800 to 850 square feet. Whereas this room is probably like really small. So yeah, this is how what we did with it. And then in terms of our filaments and whatnot, we're still trying to organize it because we don't really have like exact places to put it, but we, we're we putting it in bins right now. Yeah, so, so check this out. I, yeah, I have a container here. Um, so at least like one color of everything um, because yeah I, I go through so, so many different colors that I need yeah so we still have a bunch here but I think the rest of our filaments are like thick. I think we put it in storage yeah so like I do have like a stockpile of of a filaments because I buy buy them in bulk so I do have a bunch um, on this side here on this side, yeah two more bins over here and then downstairs in our like storage locker I have a bunch more uh, just because you know I, I'm not gonna be touching those until I run on a filament up here so that's why I'm keeping it down there yeah, and then here too I also just store a bunch of the packaging stuff um, envelopes a bunch of so for our packaging we actually reuse a lot of old cardboard papers um, Amazon packages stuff because yeah. we order quite a bit from there so that you know, we just save a lot more for in their environment and help out the environment. Yeah, and then on this side here, um, I do have like, yeah, like the the, the label printer. Um, this, this, this wasn't in the last tour, um, so I picked this up. It's just to help with speed up the process of, you know, writing out orders instead of writing all, all, all up by hand. So what we were talking about is actually like labels in terms of when you package, you have to write each and everyone's like, like their address, their home address, and then where you ship it to. So for example, do we have an example, Chris? So like, uh, maybe like, kind of like this? No. Well, that's not, this is not labeled, but yeah. Um, I, I don't have an example right here, right now, but. Okay, like, those, those sticky example. labels that, yeah, because all, all the information is already on the computer on like from Etsy, so I just copy paste it, put it into like Photoshop or whatever program, and then just print it out. So yeah. that, that's really easy. Yeah. Yeah, so we, we did pick up a, a bunch of new stuff that helps speeds up like the whole process of everything. So like example, this is like the the stamp thing for you, your own address, and then the take a look that, at it? yeah. So like this is kind of like 
just gotta blur this out. Yeah. We need a P.O. box. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then in terms of our in terms of our computer setup, so we actually have two PC systems in this room, which I was just surprised that everything actually fit in here. So one side is my side where I do content creating and the other side is Chris with all his other work as well. And both of our computers can actually use a software, so which is really great for us. But yeah, you can check this out. Yeah, so you see my setup here is just, yeah, like I, I have to, like now that um, we're all working from home with this new si situation, um, yeah, just a lot more cluttered. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. a little bit more cluttered, I feel like. Yeah, because even back at home or back at the old setup, I would have my personal PC and then a whole new st setup for my workstation. So, so now I combined it all into one with like some cables and stuff. So it's a, it's a little cleaner, but it's still a lot a lot more chaotic because now I have to combine everything together. Yeah, I mean, like, look how chaotic this is. It's like workstation, computer stuff, computer stuff, paper, paper, paper. It's just really cluttered and. We still have to figure out a system in terms of how we organize it. Yeah, it's kind of making the best we can do with the limited space we have, which is fine. So another thing that we added in our 3D print farmhouse is actually an air, an air purifier. Pur yeah, an air purifier. It's the Blue Air 411, I think that's what it's called. Uh, basically, like before we had this in our room, um, just to uh, for ambient noise. Um, but now that we're in a smaller enclosure, um, we moved into this room. It's really good. It sucks up all the dust and other particles in the air. Yeah. Um, just because you know, we're in a smaller enclosure, plus we're both working in here now. Yeah. Um, so. Plus, plastic is dangerous for your health, and you don't know if it's, it might cause you cancer. So just be careful with that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, <laughs> like PLA filament is on the safer side than the other filaments. Safer side. Yeah, safer side. Plus, we have like a window that we open here and there, but it's just really cold the last few weeks, that's why we haven't opened it. So this is our air purifier. Yeah, so you can see here, like, all the dust. Yeah, uh, like, we have so much dust, but this just collects dust, but at the same time, I think we really have it for the plastic and not to inhale the plastic. But yeah, moving on. If any of you guys are wondering, like, where I got my printers from, um, so these are, like, the Ender 3s, you know, uh, link will be in the description down below. Um, yeah, th this whole setup process, I can we can probably link it down below with the IKEA lab tables and the special and the special little add-ons you have to print to make them a little higher. Like, I'll link all those down below. And Chris actually created these add-ons over here because, well, you well, you bought something. Well, I just, you created that. You didn't yeah. buy that. So yeah, yeah. So like, obviously, you created it. Like, so someone else created the, the design, and I just reprinted these. Um, so yeah. And then, if any of you guys are wanting to start 3D printing, we also have filament. And if you're wondering where you can get the filament, yeah, uh, the filament I use is this one, AMZ 3D. Um, I pretty much only use this filament because I've never had a problem with it. Um, so yeah, go buy these filaments, you know, that, that use the, the Amazon link down below. Um, yeah, I, I, I've used these for over two years now, never had a problem. All, all the prints are all really, really good. Can you give advice to anyone who's starting a 3D printing business and especially when they're expanding? Like what's your tip in terms of the space yeah. and your workspace? Uh, yeah, just, just, start, just start with one printer. Um, you don't have to go crazy and buy like you know the end, like a one thousand dollar one. You can just pick up the Ender Three or Ender Three Pro for like three hundred bucks. Like that's all you need. Um, yeah, just start with one, and then just have fun, have fun with it in the beginning, and then just kind of work your way from there. Like obviously in the beginning you'll be making uh, like zero dollars for the first three months. Like that that's what happened to me, and then slowly they just started going up from there. Yeah, I personally think if you're also just doing this for fun, it's okay, you don't need to make money. But I feel as if that if you are trying to like expand your, if you want to start off in your 3D printing business or hobby, I think an advice I'd give to you guys is, you know, um, 
remember to think about your space remember to think how many things can you fit in your space in terms of filaments the printers and whatnot and really use your space so for example if you had a closet like the one behind me like create shelves because you can stack all your filaments there as well as i really like this idea that we did with the tables we just stacked all our 3d printers but yeah that's an advice i'd give to all of you guys otherwise is there anything that you want to say chris uh not really if you guys are following us uh check out our instagram page or etsy shop and also yeah we started with these business or these little business cards we, start, we started to add on uh, with every order um just as like a thank you and uh to follow us and even review um so so, so things like this um, we never had in t for like the first year but after we started you know slowly making some money we started investing back into the, the business to help uh, make, make things look better yeah but anyways i think that's it for our new 3d print farmhouse video if you guys have any other comments leave a comment down below because i think we're we'll try to answer them as the best as we could we can and yeah otherwise yeah. i think that's it okay bye, bye, -bye.